In this tutorial, we will solve one easy problem and one two-step problem on the area of squares. Welcome to Home Campus, the Singapore Maths YouTube channel. Here you will learn math concepts in a fun and easy way. Please click on the like and subscribe button below. By subscribing, you will be notified when we upload new math videos. If you want us to solve your homework questions, leave a comment down below. Alright, now let's dive straight into this tutorial. Our first question is, square x has an area of 49 cm square. Find its length. Just a little side note, by length we mean side. In some questions they call it length, in others they call it side, but they all mean the same. Alright, now let's recall from a previous tutorial that the area of a square is its side multiplied by itself. If you need to, click the link above to refresh your memory. Back to our example, the area of square x is equal to 49 centimeter square, which means that its side multiplied by itself is equal to 49 centimeter square. Now, which number when multiplied by itself gives us 49? To find that out, we will need to recall the times tables. We get 49 when we multiply 7 by itself. So square x has a length of 7 centimeters, and that's our answer. Now in the case of squares, if you know the area, then all you have to do to find the side is to recall the multiplication tables. There are some numbers in the multiplication tables that are special and you will eventually tend to remember them. Like 5 times 5 is 25, 8 times 8 is 64, 11 times 11 is 121 and so on. If they don't come naturally to you right now, don't worry. They will after a while if you keep revising your times tables. Okay, let's move on to the next problem. The area of square T is 25 cm square. Find its perimeter. Perimeter of square T is 4 times its length. We don't know the length of the square yet, but we can find that out using its area, which is 25 cm square. This time it may come quick to you that 25 is 5 times 5. So the length of square t is 5 centimeters. Now that we have the length of square t, it's super easy to calculate its perimeter. Perimeter of square t is 4 times the length of the square. So 4 times 5 or 20 centimeters. And that's the answer to this question. That brings us to the end of this tutorial. It's your turn now to practice. Download free area and perimeter worksheets at homecampus.com.sg. Website is linked in the description below. Keep learning with Home Campus Singapore Math.